Aquarius, this new moon in Gemini is bringing a new, a new man, a mature man in the reverse and some change. So they may be mature, older, but are they mature? This may be somebody going through a midlife crisis here, but this is an older man coming towards you about some change. Maybe they're 59 years old. Maybe they're five foot nine. You'll have to let me know, Aquarius. But this new moon energy is bringing something your way. Aquarius, before I go and lay out these cards, do me a favor. Oh, there we go. Hit the like button. Subscribe, main mail. Um, okay. <laughs> Courtship. Hit the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Share this video. Hit the notification bell. I upload almost daily and you won't want to miss a thing from me over here. That is for sure. Um, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look into your situation. This person's placement videos, if you know them, to see what's going on with them. We're still in this Mercury retrograde. I have a video for that up for each of the signs as well. And I'm available for personal readings if this resonates enough and you want a deeper understanding of your situation. Because this reading is general, not personal. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let me know where you're watching from down in the comment section. So we got main mail, courtship, some messages coming in, sudden wealth in the reverse. Oh, sudden wealth in the reverse. <laughs> That's the Uno card you never want to see. The journey in reverse as well. Whoa. Woo. And they're about to sit you into the living room and let you know. That baby. I feel like I've been robbed here with this thief card in the reverse. Maybe this person did get robbed. Because the way that this sudden wealth is about to hit, they're going to be feeling crazy. You see, this get, they're about to tell you about, they're going to come forward and sit down and tell you about these changes in your house, in the living room, like Clue, in the living room. With the knife. This person may come and tell you that it is them who were, who was embezzling from their job. Maybe this journey is them getting ready to go on the run. I just did a video on that. Not yes, yesterday? The other day? Yesterday. Excuse me. Yesterday. Um, That's this change. This person's entire world has flipped upside down. So with that, we're going to clarify these with the Casanova Tarot. And let's, I'm going to, this sudden wealth, this family sitting you down at the family room, have a seat. Sit down so you don't fall down. Baby, the justice card. Libra energy. I just did the Libra reading. Somebody may be telling you about some court issues. They may be getting their car repossessed, their home repossessed, their bank accounts frozen. Whatever financial comfortability they had when you met this individual, that's changed. That's not what it is anymore. The three of pentacles. Maybe they only got three pentacles to rub together. But this speaks to things coming together. Cooperation. They're trying to cooperate with the law. Ooh, is somebody about to sign a plea deal? Because they stole from work. They stole from you. Stole from somebody else. And trying to make some moves here. Cancer energy with the chariot in the reverse. This person might need to move in with you. Because they can't afford to live in their current home due to this issue. The sun here and the five of swords. The sun, Leo Sagittarius energy. But it's the happiest card in the deck, positivity. Um, brand new beginnings, happy endings, illuminating some things. And I really feel like this What's being illuminated here is the fact that somebody was going through something. It wasn't speaking on it with this Five of Swords. 
They didn't, maybe they were embarrassed. Maybe it was an ego thing. They needed money. They were fooling. Um, fooling. Now they're in a, a major legal situation. What's more of this theft issue that's got them in court? With that justice card and the three of pentacles. Pisces energy with the hangman here in the reverse. Things were stagnant. So somebody may have a sales job or a job that's not necessarily salary. Um, commission based maybe. And they were going through it. And I feel like somebody, you know, embezzled. Stole a little bit. Took a little bit uh, off the top here. Yeah. Five finger discount. Lack of impulse control here with the... Uh, Page of Wands in reverse. Impulse has got the best of them. Things were stagnant. They didn't want to say anything with that Five of Swords. Everything was going great. Maybe they were going on vacation. And, and they 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 did that thing with that Five of Cups. It, it speaks to regret and remorse. Somebody getting caught with their pants down. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. They're in trouble. This brother is in trouble. Or this sister right here. Because I know I have men that watch my channel. They're in trouble. This journey here in the reverse is giving me, I'm going on the run. Me and my dog are going on the run. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm working with them with that three of pentacles. But I'm definitely on the first train out of here. First train to Mexico. First bus to Mexico. First flight out of here. Queen of Wands in the revert. Yeah. Talk about taking some action, making some moves here. This Queen of Wands, I think this person being very, again, attractive, focused on work, very driven, but they just made some terrible choices. And now that the trajectory of their life, I feel like, with this journey card has completely changed. What's going on? That mistress card here, this queen of wands, I should say, not necessarily a mistress card because it's not necessarily in the reverse, um, almost makes me feel like there's an accomplice. Let me see the eight of pentacles here. Um, like it wasn't just your person stealing. Mm -mm. Eight of swords here. And now we have the eight with the justice card, the eight of air and the eight of pentacles. That's Balance and abundance coming in. But this balance is restored. I feel like when they leave, when this person disappeared, yeah. The emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, this person trying to control everything, driving you crazy because they done betrayed everybody. Ruin their reputation, maybe even ruins yours. Brought other people down here. Nobody could trust them. Ain't nobody talking to them. The three swords up here, which is a betrayal. The seven swords down here, which is a ghost. And this person just going into hiding. Going into hiding, maybe with a mistress. And we see this false person here in the reverse. And we see this mature woman. And this judication, this judication, this main female, honey, and the house in reverse. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. This shit with them is about to get serious. 
everything that this person has been doing in the dark, everything that they've been doing that was wrong, underhanded, a slight to somebody is coming out into the light here. And I feel like, because we're going to get into this main male in this courtship here. But these changes and this, and this sudden wealth, this person may have been already dealing with somebody, a mature woman. This is a mature man that's putting, getting ready to put them through it over the fact that they're uncomfortable now financially or with this new living situation, adjudication, maybe going to mediation, taking this person in front of court. Don't tell me that this person is somebody close to them, a mature woman, another lover, a mother, sister, cousin, co-worker that, that treated them like a sister, brother, mother, whatever. That's about to rat them out. We see, how are these? They were like this. Sorry, I've got them sitting in my hands and I'm talking. Um, this main female in this house in the reverse. The fact that somebody's household is upside down right now due to this legal situation, due to somebody embezzling, stealing, doing things wrong. Oh yeah, there's there is gonna be some problems. This clarifying this main male, this false person, the mature woman, the adjudication. Oh, somebody snitched on them. And it could be between this main female and this old mature woman. They could be one and the same, though, for some. But there may be two people involved because this person is just fake and phony. Lord, you and somebody else. I mean, really going through it. It's coming here. Yeah. There's more to it than just the embezzling. There's somebody getting ready to testify against them. They may, This person may even ratted them out. What's this main male false person? So for this false, let's do the false. Let's do one card for each of these. So let's get into this false person. We know, we know this person is clearly fake going through it. Ace of Cups. Just a liar. <laughs> Fake. Coming in to emotionally manipulate you. Okay, Ace of Cups. Let's get into this mature woman here. The mature woman is somebody's wife. Somebody's long-term partner here with this Empress in the reverse. Taurus, Libra, energy. Wow. Wow. They're coming to tell you that their financial situation changed. They need to tell you that they're married. That's what they need to tell you. Woo. Yeah. They're married and they're in a relationship with you. They're still in a relationship in contact with this other individual. They're not as single as they appear to be. They're not as mature as they appear to be. And what's that clarifying? What's that 30? Oh, the adjudication. Yeah. They're married. They're about to go to court. They're about to get divorced over this. This is the end. This main female... Is that you, Aquarius? Are you the secret? Are you <laughs> the person in the background that they're sneaking to see? Did anybody see ya? Coming to my house last night when I got your message in my beeper. This is that. Mm, mm, mm. You're my little secret. Escape. That's this house situation here in the reverse. Somebody was out in these streets, leaving their husband, wife at home for this main girl, woman, extracurricular activities. We, we see this person in secret. I mean, just naked with a sheet covering her. We already know what happened. This is for fun. This is for thrills. That's why they're coming to let you know that things have changed. They want to be with you. Oh, Yes. This That Queen of Wands is a mistress card. That's why they're sitting, talking to you, laying you on the bed at your house. After they're crying to you in the family room, getting you, st yeah, getting you stuck and bound to them, trying to control the situation. They, yeah, they're trying to move, move away with you. 
They are trying to manifest a new beginning with you with this magician. Aries, Gemini energy here with this courtship. They are hoping and praying, getting on their knees, begging the Lord, please, for an option, a handout, something. And they got their eye on you right now, Aquarius. You looking good right now, looking good at the moment, at least. You're somebody new, or at least new enough that you'll know what's going on with this Empress here in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles. But this situation, and we got the Four with the courtship, and this courtship, you're finally starting to realize <laughs> that this relationship is built on some lies, that the solid foundation you thought you were building with this individual, this mature, good sir over here, or woman, is not what you thought it was. They're very prideful and ego-driven. They're all about the next new exciting thing. And, you know, right now it's you. So, yeah, they, they want a relationship with you. They, they want to go through these changes with you. This is somebody talking about, you know, this will bring us closer together. I bet it will. We see the moon here, Pisces energy. Yeah, the duality of this individual. You're about to see that they're very fake. That false person, super fake. And a player. Because you're not the only one. The world here, yeah. Everywhere that they travel to. Because this person was clearly very wealthy, could move around. Anywhere they travel to, they're laid up with somebody. Just know that. Just know that. That's why they don't talk to you when they're on trips. They're busy with other people. It's not just work. Yeah, they're tired from working, but they're also tired from putting in that work behind closed doors. That's exactly what this is. They're out to dinner with people, just ignoring their phone, laughing, yucking it up. Mm, mm, mm. But this is what they were doing with you, traveling, moving around, courting you, dating you behind somebody else's back here. Let's get into this message. What's this upside down message that's coming in? Oh. Woo, we have the strength card here. In the upright, big Leo energy. Is it a Leo that you're dealing with? I love me an older Leo. Even though they are very ghetto and ratchet, I love me a lion ass Leo. Yes, I do. The Eight of Wands, more Leo energy. This person is going to be sending you a message, texting you first, wanting to get together. Oh, oh, this silver fox is about to put it on you, Aquarius. They're about to call you over. Like I said, singing that escape, I was dead on with that. They're going to invite you over. They're going to lay you down. Work it out. This is a booty call. And then they're going to spring this on you with this Ten of Cups. Put all their burdens, all their emotional unhappiness on you. Because this person is miserable right now. And you have to be careful when you're laying up with people. I don't care who it is. When people are depressed, when people are going through it, when they're stressed, insecure, they will transfer that to you. You'll be kissing on them, laying up with them. They're transferring that energy to you. Be mindful. That's just a side note. Be careful who you sleep with. They're about to lay all this drama on you. King of Pentacles here. About this stability or the lack thereof. Could be a Taurus. This person is very stubborn and very set in their ways. Page of Cups here. I feel like they're coming in, but the apologies that they give for this entire situation is weak because this person is going to come in and I feel like give you the whole story because I feel like they feel like you will just accept it, Aquarius. Aquarius ain't going nowhere. They've been holding me down. They're just going to accept the fact that I've been cheating on them, this secret, these revelations that I'm about to lay on you. This is a crisis. The Tower. Scorpio, Aries, a crisis. Something that happens that shakes up the foundation of a relationship. And that's this truth. They give you a very weak apology. 
They give you the explanation. They give you the rundown. And they're just expecting because you have this deep connection to them. You're very emotionally attached to them, Aquarius, that you ain't going nowhere. The judgment card. The tower and the judgment is two of cups. Let's talk about a toxic situation. This person leading you down the wrong road. The wrong road. And then all of their skeletons coming out. All of their secrets. This is a final ending. We see the star here, Aquarius, you showing up. Somebody didn't get their wish fulfillment. Entertain these third parties because this person will cheat on you too. That's what I'm saying. You will not be the only one. That's this tower moment with the message. This conversation in the living room is a mess. They will be entertaining these third parties. They will. They're not going to tell you that, but you will find that out. Page of Swords here in the reverse. Somebody watching from a distance. And that's that queen. That's that empress. This person's wife. See? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. This person that they have a commitment with that's also attached to these pentacles. They're watching you. They know what's up. They're watching their phone, who they're communicating with, with the six of swords. But they know that this person's going to try and move on to calmer waters and fix it with them. Because they're done. This ship has sailed. This king of cups here in the reverse. They completely turned off their emotions to this person. Not just because of this theft, this embezzlement issue here. But then the cheating. So this person just a liar and a thief all over, all over the place. The death card. Yeah, this is a... A major ending for this person. And you can choose to be a part of it or you cannot. But they're definitely going to try and rope you in with this page of pentacles. Offering you this new commitment. Offering you this new relationship here. Talking about how, you know, there's a lot of chaos and craziness going on right now. But if, you know, if you don't deserve, if you don't want me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. And that is trash. So if you say that, you can just get off this channel right now. Because that's nonsense. You're supposed to, you're the only person in control of your happiness. Period. You get yourself together and then you find somebody. For those of you that say that. Because when you're in a bad space, when you're not at your best, you're not attracting your best. You're not attracting the best. You're attracting a mess like you. That's why you don't date like that. That's why you get it together and you take a break. So, Aquarius, that's the word. Um, but this person coming in, talking about this change and wanting this new relationship, it's not about love. It's about stability. Because they would have put you on the back burner with this Four of Swords. They still would have been courting you on the low, in secret. But now they got to take some action here with this King of Wands. And this, they got to take some action and their actions got to match their words. They got to dot these I's, cross these T's. They got to be on it. Because they're going, they going to court. Some, this person might be going to damn jail. That's why they're going on the run. Check out that video. Yeah, they don't want to be alone. And they done got caught up in some betrayal, some lies, some nonsense here. And we see... Before they're even done with this individual, they done moved on to somebody else here. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. But they're committed to themselves. This is about them. This is about you getting committed to them. Doing what they need you to do. Saying what they need you to say. Why they slowly come towards you. They're going to give you a little bit. But this commitment, as far as like a marriage or being together together... It's going to be real slow to come in because they got they got a lot going on. It's not just you. Once they get you in that main woman position, then they got to fill your slot. See? Could be a Sagittarius with this temperance card, but you just need to be patient and maybe let this person go. This may be too much drama for you. Again, Sagittarius energy with this nine of wands. It's just too much. You need to protect yourself from this person that's watching you from a distance. Again, because they live with somebody else that's got their person watching you from a distance because they're doing too damn much here before, you know, it gets too deep. The straw that breaks the camel's back with this ten of wands. 
and you get caught up in a situation where you laid up with them and somebody's wife or husband is kicking in the door and they'll be leaving you with this eight of cups. So even though this person is leaving them, they're going to take care of home first. First. In this legal situation. Baby. Aquarius. Drop this person's sign down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I upload almost daily. I am available for personal readings. That information is in the description box. Aquarius, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look and understanding into your situation. Their sign placement. See what's going on with them. Be a cross watcher today. I know I'm forgetting something. Um... Dang, I don't know what I forgot, Aquarius. Aquarius, I'm going to just leave it at that. You have a blessed rest of your day and keep it real, fam.